Hello MMA fans uh, and rest of you folk who is watching this video we've got a new update uh, arrived and uh, before I start playing I wanted to show you the update history for you to see what is new so they've added four new fighters one in women's bantamweight division which is Holly Holm two in lightweight which are Rafael Dos Anjos and Eddie Alvarez and one in light heavyweight uh, the one we all wanted to see Anthony Rumble Johnson now they added some new uh, stuff as well to the gameplay stamina penalty for missed and blocked strike okay added full body hit reactions to strikes landed while lunging tuned stamina for lunges okay uh, before I start I want to I want to refer uh, to to uh, the news I've heard yesterday it's considering uh, Mirko Crow Cup. Uh, as a fellow Croatian, I feel obligated to say a free few words about him. Uh, I don't know if it's news to you. Uh, still, Crow Cup has been signed by the UFC again. I don't know what to say uh, about it. I love Mirko. Uh, I loved uh, watch, watching him. I enjoyed his fights. Uh, throughout his career, but I think it's game over for him. I don't know why is he doing this for what reason? What are the purposes? What is the motivation? Uh, I mean he didn't have a good run with with uh, UFC So maybe he wants to make amends for the fans anyway, but I don't think he, he'll be able to do it He couldn't do it uh, five years ago. I, I don't think he is in in a place. He can do it now so uh, what I think uh, I'm I'm really uh, I'm really dazzled by UFC signing him. Of course, Mirko would would agree to it. There is a lot of money involved, but uh, the UFC signing him that's that's the issue. I mean, when you think of it, that's their modus operandi. That's their their mo, uh, because um, about a week ago, I don't know, or maybe less, uh, Bellator uh, said they would sign Crow Cup maybe for the fight with Kimbo. You know. Kimbo is signed by Bellator and they were announcing that maybe Crow Cup would be signed as well to fight Kimbo and that would be for my for, uh, in my in my uh, mind that would be a perfect perfect fight for for Crow Cup I, I think he would he would have won the fight against Kimbo for many reasons I don't want to get into that right now and when you think his uh, his return to UFC who is he going to who is he going to get there's uh, they are mentioning some kind of uh, uh, rematches I can think of a couple of fighters and uh, those fighters that he could beat really are Minotauro and probably probably Frank Mir you know uh, maybe even Roy Nelson if he gets his head into the game but I don't know I don't think he can beat anyone else in the division to be honest with you I'm sorry to say that I'm a huge fan of Kroka but he's really really past his prime and that's not going to work well we just will have to see what is going to happen I'm not going to smother you with the details about the fight okay let's advance and let's see those fighters in action I mean it's all the same shit to me uh, when you look at it every time they introduce a new fighter it's just a new face but you are actually fighting the same the same way there is not that much diversity with this game so okie doke I'm playing unranked I already told you about it in a video of mine I just play oh god damn it me and the alphabet he's also taking his time why is that why is that a featherweight fuck me I'm I'm an idiot sorry uh, it, it fucks me over every time. It's a featherweight. I don't need featherweights. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, it's it's in welter. It fucks me all the time. I'm sorry about it, but now we'll, we are on the right track. 
it's an interesting thing this with Crow Cup. I got to be honest with you. Um, I don't know what's the what's the motivation for the guy. I mean, I don't think there is any hunger left left in him. Why do it for the money? He's got tons of money. I mean, he earned a lot throughout his career and this last few fights in Japan. Ah, Rafael dos Anjos, 92. Let's see him in action. I love the Sanjos, uh, and he cut down Nate Diaz pretty, pretty good. Now he's in for a hell of a more. I don't know if he'll be able to beat. Coming up next, Where am I it's fighting a Cerrone? Oh. Cowboy Cerrone and I don't know if he can beat Pettis. Honest to God, I don't think so. But Pettis is a unique, unique fighter. I mean, everybody can beat anybody at any given day, but especially... Ooh, for God's sakes. Shit, sorry about it. My cell phone. Should use my kicks more. Yeah, he's really, really long, Don Cerrone is. He's picking me apart. I mean, you can you can find a good good player in unranked matches, no doubt about it. Got him. Nope, you're not going anywhere, my friend. Let's soften him up a bit. I don't know why he's just defending. He's maybe trying to. Yeah, he's trying to initiate a submission. That's not good because I'm a little bit rusty. The submission defending. Okay, he's up. No, 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 no. He's doing a nice job. Jesus Christ, come on. This guy is actually really, really good. Look at this. I cannot turn. They haven't done anything with it still. Look at this. And this fucking turning. Okay, I'm up. Fuck. Well, he made a made a mess. What? It's a round over, I believe. He made a mess of me on the ground. Cerrone is really tough to fight if if a player knows how to play with him because he's long. He's got good skills. Okay, at least I'm up this time. Look at this guy. 
My fucking defense is crazy bad. Come on, fucking defend yourself, you stupid. I can't do shit. Look at this. I can't do fucking shit. Now you're fucking gonna fucking die, you motherfucker. Trying all sorts of crazy. Nice. Oh, the annoyance of the, uh, I don't know. Why are you fucking trying this shit? Oh my god, he's so annoying. So annoying. He fucking got me. He got me so annoying. Oh my god. Ah, well, it was a good fight at this point. Well, I actually lost, but it was a good competitive fight. Now we are going to try with some other fighters. As well. I hope you liked the fight because I did. Uh, except he was so annoying with those, with those submissions. Uh, you rarely see a submission these days, I got to be honest. So you you get a little bit rusty by by uh, not seeing it a lot, you know. And that stupidity of that ground game and ground and pound, you can't do anything when he starts uh, teeing off on you on the ground. You can't do shit. You, he just freezes. I mean, I'm trying to I'm pu pushing block button. I'm trying to move, uh, escape the position, but no, there is nothing you can do. That's not happening all the time, you know. Alexander. Where is he? I sense we are going to play Rumble versus Rumble. Joel Romero. I haven't done a video with those guys yet. Oh my god. He was there. He was right there. I'm an idiot. He's got 95 stand-up. Come on, push the fucking button. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be a long-ass video. But it doesn't matter, I wanted to show you all the fighters you've seen what Dos Anjos can do. He's a good stand-up uh, gamer up and good on ground as well, but... Okay, which one am I? I believe I'm the one on the right. Right. Are you ready? Let's see. Ready? Fight. Yep, it's me on the right. So. Nice leg kick. What the hell? Come on. Come on. Okay. What the fuck is happening now? I hate this game. I hate this game. I really do. I gotta be honest with you. Look. Connection to your opponent has been lost. 
Ah, Jesus Christ. I mean... Nothing comes out as I planned this day. I lost the first fight. They, I, we got disconnected the second fight. Hope we have more luck this time. Here we go. Holy home. Rated 90. With emphasis on stand up, as, of course. Alexis Davis. Wow. I love Alexis Davis. She's my favorite fighter in the game. In the women's division, of course. Let's see how the chick stands. Coming up next, it's a and I really haven't been talking about the signing fight. of CM Punk. I don't know about that guy because I'm not into into wrestling. But you see that UFC is I don't know. I wouldn't call it desperate, but they're trying their best to. Nice hands by Holly. She did a nice job at petting. Let's see what kind of kicks does she have. A nice kick. I'm just defenseless. When it comes to avoiding takedowns. fuck is wrong with me I'm picking him picking her apart she's trying her best to avoid damage to the head now I think I'm just a little bit too much. Nice. Holy Holm has decent striking. I gotta be honest with you. Maybe even better than Holy. Ooh, that was a nice kick. trying I don't know if it's the leg or something that's bothering me there is no leg okay I'm up I'm up okay I'm not going to pursue it Look at this shit. I'm trying. I really am. I like Holy Home. I like her really, really, really a lot. I, I didn't have to do that. I could have just stood up and pick it apart again. In the stand-up, I'm, I'm much, I'm clearly much better in the stand-up division than I am on the ground. So she's defending pretty well when it comes to to uh, knocked out, knocked down state. Nice 
she'll probably try to initiate some takedowns. Good kick by Davis. As you can see, I'm relying not so much on padding. She has to. She has to parry because if she doesn't. She's going down. Okay. Spotting some. Trying the same combination I did in round one for for that uppercut. Finally, I mean he is just incredible at defending. How many of, of the situations I've had so far? And I couldn't capitalize on either of them. Look at this. She's busted up. Finally. I think it's game over now. Or not? No, she's she's incredible at defending. Okay, she's trying. Okay, I'm out. Come on! <laughs> I don't believe this. I honestly don't believe this shit. Another round down. Look at look at her face. Face. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess. Awesome fighter, Holy Home is. I, 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 she just doesn't have the power, obviously. Can't take her down. I'm trying my best for fuck's sake. You just can't do it. Look at look at those. Nice. trying to deliver the submission something has something been done with the submissions 
because obviously they are all going for the submission. Look at this. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm usually not that bad in defending uh, takedowns, you know? I pressed as soon as she launched for it. I honestly think this is her round. I don't know what's keeping this girl up. Nope, she's not letting me. It would be awesome to see how many of these uh, of these uh, kicks and punches did she take throughout the fight. This is crazy. I mean, this is crazy. She is defeated. I understand. Look at the significant strikes. I mean, nine, 29. Jesus Christ, this was a hell of a fight, guys. Uh, I'm going to split this video in two. There is no no uh, way I'm going to. Let it let it uh, upload like this. I'm going to split it in two, so we have two more fighters to see. Tauro and probably probably Frank Mir, you know, uh, maybe even Roy Nelson if he gets his head into the game. But I don't know. I don't think he can beat anyone else in the division. To be honest with you, I'm sorry to say that I'm a huge fan of Kroka, but He's really, really past his prime, and that's not going to work. Well, we just will have to see what is going to happen. I'm not going to smother you with the details about the fight. Okay, let's advance. And let's see those fighters in action. I mean, it's all the same shit to me uh, when you look at it. Every time they introduce a new fighter, it's just a new face. Hello MMA fans uh, and rest of you folk who is watching this video, we've got a new update uh, arrived and uh, before I start playing I wanted to show you the update history for you to see what is new. So they've added four new fighters, one in women's bantamweight division which is Holly Holm, two in lightweight which are Rafael Dos Anjos and Eddie Alvarez and one in light heavyweight, uh, the one we all wanted to see Anthony Rumble Johnson. Now they added some new uh, stuff as well to the gameplay. Stamina penalty for missed and blocked strike. Okay, added full body hit reactions to strikes landed while lunging. Tuned stamina for lunges. Okay, broke up maybe for the fight with Kimbo. You know, Kimbo is signed by Bellator and they were announcing that maybe Crow Cup would be signed as well to fight Kimbo and that would be. For my, for, uh, in my, in my uh, mind, that would be a perfect, perfect fight for for Crow Cup. I, I think he would, he would have won the fight against Kimbo for many reasons. I don't want to get into that right now. And when you think his uh, his return to UFC, who is he going to, who is he going to get? They are, uh, they are mentioning some kind of uh, 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 rematches. I can think of a couple of fighters and. Uh, those fighters that he could beat really are. I mean, uh, I mean, he didn't have a good run with with uh, UFC, so maybe he wants to make amends for the fans anyway. But I don't think he, he'll be able to do it. He couldn't do it uh, five years ago. I I don't think he is in in a place he can do it now. So uh, what I think, uh, I'm I'm really. Uh, I'm really dazzled by UFC signing him. Of course, Mirko would would agree to it. There is a lot of money involved, 
but uh, the UFC signing him that's that's the issue I mean when you think of it that's their modus operandi that's their, their uh, MO uh, because um, about a week ago I don't know or maybe less uh, Bellator uh, said they would sign Cro uh, before I start I want to, I want to refer uh, to to uh, the news I've heard yesterday it's considering uh, Mirko Crow Cup uh, as a fellow Croatian I feel obligated to say a free few words about him uh, I don't know if it's news to you uh, still Crow Cup has been signed by the UFC again I don't know what to say uh, about it I love Mirko uh, I loved uh, watch, watching him I enjoyed his fights uh, throughout his career, but I think it's game over for him. I don't know why is he doing this, for what reason, what are the purposes, what is the motivation 